you're talking me, you know, racing some some stiff competition and no longer either, you know, getting my butt kicked or squeaking out wins or squeaking, you know, like you're you're talking a major game changer right there. Alright guys, so we're going to talk about uh, a couple of things that I've been researching, looking into, and you know, in the comment section, definitely weigh in, let me know what you guys think, what you would potentially do. Uh, so I was looking into the intake manifold and really looking at the potential gains that I would receive for the amount of money that I would be paying, and I ended up saying, you know what? I don't think this is uh, the best route for me to go at the moment. Um, I think I can spend my money elsewhere and get a little bit more bang for the buck. So that comes and, and that brings us to the cam and four stair. Now I've been uh, talking with Jay Green and he has cams that will, um, you'll get a cam and a, a custom tune to load up. Uh, for about fifteen to eighteen hundred dollars, depends on the cam that you want, what kind of horsepower and what kind of idle you're looking for uh, with that cam. Uh, anybody that knows, or anybody that doesn't know anything about a cam, it feeds your engine more gas. Uh, the cool part about a cam, obviously, outside of just the performance, like the uh, you know the amount of horsepower that you're going to gain. Uh, he said I can expect anywhere from about 50 to 70 wheel horsepower, which is a huge jump. That would put my car well over 400 uh, wheel horsepower, and that's that's a lot right there. Um, and so, you know, the part where I'm looking into is the financial part of it. If it costs me about $1,500, that's on the low end. And then a thousand dollars for install. You're talking twenty-five hundred dollars. I have a tune. Jay Green provides a tune that I can load up to my my T2. And so twenty-five hundred dollars for about fifty to seventy wheel horsepower, depending on which cam that I want to go with. So you're you know you have to factor twenty-five to three thousand dollars. It's always a little bit more than what you initially uh, plan for. So that's the cam route. Um, and that is a route that I was kind of leaning towards until I found the cheapest, best forced air system I've ever seen. Uh, when I was looking into forced air, I kept coming across Edelbrock, uh, Superchargers, Edens, uh, Whipples, uh, Pro Chargers. Man, there's so many uh, centrifugal force superchargers out there for... Uh, for you to choose from, but they're all in a price range that's a little steep, and so they're probably in the seven thousand dollar range. Okay, from what I've gathered, yes, you could get one on sale, and it'll come out to like you know six thousand dollars. But in the end, you're spending a minimum of eight thousand uh, dollars to get a forced air system. Now, the big advantage to that is you're walking away with a lot more than 50 to 70 wheel horsepower with a proper tune. Um, if you go and get you know, a pro charger and use their crappy tune, uh, you're not gonna see the kind of gains that you would if you get a custom dyno tune. Also too, I do have headers on this, so it would likely translate into more horsepower than if this thing was bone stock. So, I found a really awesome option and one that I'm very heavily considering, and that is the Torque Storm. Now, what the Torque Storm is, is the bare bones, but high quality uh, centrifugal force system. 
It comes with basically the supercharger itself. It comes with a blow off valve intake. It comes with pretty much everything minus an intercooler. Now the, the problem with running this system without an intercooler is that you're jamming some really hot air uh, into your intake manifold and that's a no-no. Uh, at least from my perspective, uh, I don't want that. So I would have to um, develop or, or purchase a intercooler setup. So I would purchase an intercooler and the performance shop that I'm working with would have to custom bend piping in order to allow the airflow to go from the turbo or the supercharger into the intercooler and then into my intake, um, my throttle body. And so what is this all going to run me? Uh, basically, the Torque Storm system itself is $2,800. And then you probably, you know, tax and, and shipping and everything, you're probably looking or approaching $3,000. Then, uh, an intercooler is actually kind of cheap, but he said that if he were to purchase the intercooler, do the custom um, piping for the intercooler, and install, it's going to run me about fifteen to eighteen hundred dollars. So three thousand plus, let's just say two thousand. That's five thousand dollars, and I'm looking at probably. With a really good tune, the Dyno tune is $500. So maybe you're factoring $5,500 for everything, but I would likely walk away with around 150 wheel horsepower. And that would put me in an insane um, level. I mean, you're talking, you're talking me, you know, racing some some stiff competition and no longer either you know getting my butt kicked or squeaking out wins or squeaking you know like you're you're talking a major game changer right there and so I would run it kind of lower boost maybe 7 psi 8 psi uh, because I will be running it on the stock internals and basically if you just you know if I drive it not like a, a banana head, uh, all should be good. Um, my buddy Das Lamas runs seven or eight PSI with his Pro Charger. He really hasn't had an issue uh, in the year that he's he's had the uh, the Pro Charger installed for in his charger. So I um, I'm very much debating about going four stair, even though I said I would never do it. Look at me, I'm breaking all my own rules. I said I would never lower my car because of New York. I would never put four stair. Um, and, and you know, that's, that's the direction that I'm going. But again, when I said I wouldn't do all of that stuff, I didn't have a daily driver, you know? And so, like everything in life, things change, you know? And just because you can't envision something at the moment doesn't mean that, you know, months down the road can't happen. So that is um, what's going on in my head. I was really considering a cam and then I started looking into, you know, this forced air system. And I have to say that I'm very impressed with the amount that I would be spending for the amount of horsepower that I would be gaining. So yeah, that's pretty much it guys. They just picked it up. <laughs> 